Thanks for stopping by the Minnesota Black Robe Regiment channel. This is a very particular video, and it's probably going to be pretty brief. I live in frequent uh, the area that's within the bubble of the Rochester, Minnesota area. I don't live directly in Rochester, um, but much of my week my life is spent in the Rochester metro area and it's it's a metro area and as such a lot of the decisions that are made in Rochester directly impact me the, for better or worse mostly worse a lot of what happens in Rochester directly impacts me period end of discussion and, and as such I don't have a direct representative in the affairs of the city of Rochester. I have a lot of friends who do. I have friends that are directly impacted by um, decisions that are made, uh, things that are are done in the in the name of the good and the human flourishing of the people of Rochester. Um, but I I do feel a certain amount of commitment to um, holding people in Rochester. Who are elected servants accountable so back many many months ago now it feels like forever here in 2020 while we were kind of in the midst of the height of the initial scare tactics that were implemented um, due to covid um, and at the time when the riots were kicking off in uh, the twin cities uh, in minneapolis in particular I called out the mayor of Rochester, Kim Norton, for very publicly on a Facebook Live video. And I called her out for just her asinine uh, way of coddling the people who were protesting. But what I want to point out is Kim, Kim is not this Minnesota nice person that everybody thinks she is, okay? Kim is very much in 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 bed with leftist ideology and kim does not do well with pushback kim does not like being questioned kim likes to order people around and i do take her to task on her public facebook page very frequently and on her twitter at times i have no issue saying that kim is an elected servant kim norton gets while she's not the mayor of my city, she is a mayor of a city that I spend a lot of time in. She is the, a mayor who, of the third largest metro area in the state of Minnesota. And Kim does not like being challenged. Okay? And I'll show you. This is Kim Norton's public Facebook page. All right? Here she is advancing the propaganda from the governor. And this is, it's propaganda. This is purely propaganda. OK, and I've already done uh, a video talking about this particular little graphic. OK. I've done the video. Done the work, as they like to say in the woke circles, do the work. But what was I looking at or what did I want to look at particularly? Let's see here. I brought this up. Nothing like outdoor dining in Minnesota in December. Great plan. That's all I said. And I'm pointing, and yes, it's it's very pointed and it's it's sarcastic. I, sarcasm is a wonderful tool to use on idiocy. And dining outside in December, as if somehow that's a, a great gifting to the people of Rochester, you know, and that's kind of what you know Kim is saying. Look, we're we're doing these things. And and we're following the governor's directions. Um that's that's what she was saying is here's this great gift now i got some pushback from that okay and so i had a mary uh, patterson or peterson supposed to be warmer i guess that means warmer than normal and besides we ice fish and have winter festivals we can do this my response when you ice fish you have a hut and somehow you're okay with the governor acting unconstitutionally now here's where this turns okay vangie castro not because of her name vangie castro is a marxist She's a leftist. She's so far to the left 
that the, the people of Rochester would not put her on the city council. And that's pretty amazing considering how left-leaning the city council of Rochester is, all right? We're talking about a group of people who voted themselves massive raises, which they haven't walked back, but for a small percentage, by the way, but they promise they're going to reissue <laughs> their, their raises in 2021. So she's a, she's a Marxist. She's so far to the left, it, it's almost scary. She she makes the rest of the city council, or the, the city council in Rochester and the mayor look normal, okay? And, and that's that's terrifying. That That's how bad it is. So Vanji says to me, she goes, I think you get the Declaration of Independence confused with the Constitution. The Constitution actually establishes government powers and your Bill of Rights. Unless you're a lawyer and can argue that your right to party is more important than my right to live in a healthy community, we are in an impasse, so yeah. Since we also voted for him, the state of Minnesota constitution gives him the authority to protect citizens during a public health crisis, like, you know, a global pandemic that's killed 300,000 people. So please stop politicizing an infectious disease. Your spread of misinformation is dangerous. Now, I wrote a very long reply, not gonna argue that it's, it's longish, but it was very polite. It was very thought out, okay? And that will be going on my private, it's already on Kim's post, okay? Very, very, very polite, very decent, very educational. Not just because I said it, but it is. And I take Angie to task. I hand her her constitutional breakfast. This is what Kim Norton said to me this morning. TC Pearson, please take this offline. Use your own page, please. And here's my response. Kim Norton, mayor of Rochester, Minnesota. Are you going to say the same to Vanjie Castro? Are you, and you are a public figure with a public page. You don't get to post things and then ask or tell others to take it off your public page. You know what? you know that the courts have frowned heavily on elected servants attempting to silence dissent, correct? And this is true, they have. They have told them, you don't get to do that. Now she's asking, but I want you to note, she has ever asked anyone else to take anything out. Any person who agrees with her never gets told, take it to your own page. The only people she ever snaps back at or claps back at are people who disagree with her. And I want you to know, and there again, come to my come to my Facebook page and see the response that I have for Vanji Castro. It's it will be there shortly. By the time that you see this video, it will definitely be up on my Facebook page. So what I want you to note, here we have sitting governor or mayor of the third largest metro area in the state of Minnesota telling somebody else, you don't get to comment on my wall. I don't want the noise, is what she's saying. I don't wanna deal with it. She won't silence anybody else. She won't push back or ask people who agree with her to be civil and respectful because I've had people on her wall tell me they hope that I get COVID and die. I've had people on her wall say, you are one of those people that needs to be held accountable when this is all over. Held accountable for what? She never challenges them. Kim Norton never challenges anyone who praises her and pats her on the back and tells her how wonderful she is and how magnanimous she is and how wonderful of a job she's doing. And, and she claims to be neutral. Kim Norton's not neutral. And here's something else. And this is for you, Kim, directly for you. I have asked you numerous times, is what the governor is doing in response to COVID-19 legitimately authorized by the constitution. Your response has always been, the governor said, do it, it's the law. The governor doesn't make law, Kim. So I'm gonna ask you again, I'm gonna ask publicly, is it constitutional? Is what the governor of Minnesota is doing constitutional? Has the governor violated in any way, shape or form any aspect of the Constitution of the United States as it regards his response to COVID-19? Has he? Just answer that question. 
If you say no, we can have a different conversation. If you say yes, then Kim Norton, you have some explaining to do for defending him. Now, here's the other thing that I've done. On at least two occasions, Kim, I have publicly requested that you debate me. And I don't mean to argue, I mean a formal debate, Kim Norton. I have publicly asked you to debate me and I'm gonna ask you here and I'm gonna ask you now, debate me on this. You pick the venue, you pick the moderators, I'll pick the topic. You can take the, the pro or the con, you, you, however you wanna look at it. But debate me on this, Kim. You don't have the guts to answer on your Facebook page. So I'm gonna put this out there for like the 10 people who watch my channel. Debate me on this, Kim. Debate me on the constitution and what the constitution says you as an elected servant and the governor as an elected servant are allowed to do. Debate me on this. Debate me on whether or not you're the leader or we are the masters because you act like you and the governor are the masters. So debate me on this. Where does the power lie in the United States? Does it lie with the electorate or with the elected? Who has the power according to the constitution? So this is yes, me publicly challenging you, Kim Norton to a debate. Put your money where your mouth is. You who haven't missed a single paycheck since this started. And if you have, if I'm wrong, correct me. Correct me on that, Kim. Correct me. How many people in your city have been without pay since this started? We'll have that conversation. How many checks have you foregone off the backs of the taxpayers? How many checks have your city council members gone without, Kim? So once again, publicly, right now, Kim Norton, debate me. If you're so much smarter than I am, if you're so much well-versed in, in the Constitution and the legalities and the illegalities of all these things that are going on and all this, the intricacies, and you know so much and you, know, and you have so much knowledge, this should be a cakewalk for you. You should be like Mayo, Civic Center, 7 p.m., January 10th, be there or be square, public debate. We're going to live stream it and I'm going to decimate you, TC Pearson, right here, right now. Let's get it over with. This should not be a problem for you. But here's the thing. You're going to say no. You will say no. Because you know I will destroy you in a debate. You know that. That's why you wanted me to take my response to Vanji down. Because I destroyed Vanji. I wrecked her in the martyr, modern parlance. So, Kim Norton, let's debate. Right now, I'm asking you, officially, let's have a debate, not a fight, not a hostility. Kim, I don't, I don't care one way or another about you in the sense of I don't hate you and I don't like you. I'm, I'm ambivalent about you. What I don't like, Kim, is your arrogance, your haughtiness and this approach that you're so above everybody else around you, especially all of those people who disagree with you. Debate me, Kim, bring your best argument. Let's debate the constitution. Let's debate how much power you really have. And then let the people decide. But like I said, you're gonna say no because you know I would wreck you. You don't have the intelligence, the intellect, or the reasoning skills when it comes to the Constitution to take me on, which is why you want to silence me. You don't belong in that position. You want a popularity contest, but you're not a public servant. If you see this, challenge her to debate me. And as always, rise up Minnesota, six Emperor Tyrannus.